Hey there, Sharks fans and NHL fans alike. It's Coaster here, talking a little more about the Sharks. Um, very bad day for a, a San Jose Sharks fan. Uh, but today being the trading deadline, we really did not get anything. L literally, we traded for nothing. Uh, General Manager Doug Wilson chose not to uh, make any deals. And it's kind of sad that uh, with what we've done in the past, trying to get Bill Guerin, we got Brian Campbell. We made some minor moves last year. This time we do nothing. And... Uh, this, this really is, it might cost us in the long term. Because with this core of balanced players on offense, this might be the last chance with, with these people. A lot of them will be free agents next year, uh, including Nabby or Eugenio Nabaka. He might, he probably will not be back next year. We look, you know, you look at this, what we've done uh, trade-wise throughout this uh, before the deadline. All we did was trade Jody Shelley for a draft pick, which was mainly for cap reasons, maybe to fill an empty roster spot, but I was hoping to replace it with the defensive end. We didn't do that. Uh, you know, what we did do is we, we got Nicholas Wallen about a month ago, as I've said before in my other video. Uh, we traded a second round draft pick for him. And, uh, you know, this time we didn't give up any draft picks or, or anything, for that matter, at the deadline. We, we just seen some... Uh, Disappointment, rather, to the fans I and mean, getting nothing. We look at teams who did make upgrades. The Washington Capitals, specifically the Capitals and Phoenix Coyotes, two teams that were probably the winners of this deadline. Uh, the Pittsburgh Penguins as well. But now there's like four teams clearly favorite, favorite compared to us. I mean, we might be those San Diego Chargers of hockey, or just the team that will all lose in the playoffs at this rate. The defensive men, I don't see Rob Blake or Mark Edward Blasick being solid on defense. Because all we have is Dan Boyle. That's the only solid defenseman we have right now. And it's sad to say that the the depth on the defense is not the greatest. Because Ken Huskins is alright. You know, Jason Demers is, is a rookie. Can't really fault him too much. As well as Jamie McGinn being on there. But it's still rather disappointing that I hope that we would have gotten some uh, defensive I suppose we're going to call some guys up from the, the AHL or the American Hockey League. But with this group of players, I mean, this, this really is the last chance potentially for Patrick Marlowe, potentially for uh, Evgeny Nabokov as a shark. And uh, Nicholas Wallen, the only guy we picked up, as I said before, he's going to provide some offense, I think, down the stretch out of defensive end. But I wasn't hoping that it would be just him and that's it. We really needed a star defensive player, and uh, Doug Wilson failed to do that. I guess teams were offering too much, trying to offer Joe Thornton or offer got one, more of our star players for a uh, defensive man. I was hoping to give up maybe a first-round pick or something, but that didn't work out. Now we just got to move on. But teams that are really favored in front of us, you know, the Chicago Blackhawks obviously are, uh, the Capitals they're on fire. Very sad day. Also, the Vancouver Canucks and LA Kings. Also, the Phoenix Coyotes. Those three are on the rise in the West. Those three teams are the future for the Western Conference. And I, I don't see that the Sharks will be able to compete with them in the near future with what those three clubs have done. So, but Definitely the Devils, Capitals, Penguins, and Blackhawks are the big favorites for the Cup right now. This defense is going to need to play with heart right now, on paper, the defensive men that the Sharks have are not what fans and myself were expecting, so we'll see what happens playoff time, but we really need to get that playoff monkey off of our back, or else the window will close, and it might be another two to three years before we start being winners in the regular season before the postseason ever again, because we'll have to make a lot of moves this offseason if we get eliminated. See y'all later, and let's hope we get rid of that playoff uh, itch on our backs.